So for those of you that have done some programming before or might be familiar with computer languages like Python, one of the big differences between Java and Python that has come out through the course of this lesson that you'll start to notice right away um, is types. So in Python, I can you know, initialize a variable and on one line I can assign a number to it and on the next line I can assign some character data to it. Python doesn't care. Um, in Java, when I declare my variable, I also have to tell Java what type of variable it is. And this might seem like a limitation of the programming language, but it turns out to be actually really useful. It's a trade-off, um, and there are many trade-offs in computer science, and what's important is to kind of understand some of the pros and cons of both approaches. One way I like to think about it is Python's variables are sort of like a flexible bag, so like a pillowcase or something. You can put anything you want in there, right? There's no rules about it. If it could fit, you know, uh, you can put any sort of random stuff. But because the container is flexible, when you go in to get something out of there, you don't know what you're going to find. So if you wanted to make a statement like, I am going to put my hand into this bag and whatever I pull out, I'm going to eat. It would be hard to do because who knows what's in there, right? You can put anything you want in there. In Java, we have rules about what we put in our container. So it's almost like we have a box, right? That's a specific size for a specific thing. Um, and only that thing can go inside the box because the box has been you know, created to only hold that type of thing. And so, again, it's less flexible than Python. That variable can't store other things. If we have another piece of data, we need a different variable with a different type to hold that data in our program. But the pro is that when we go into that container, we know what kind of thing is in there. We may not know what it is, but we know something about it. So every integer variable, for example, stores an integer. Everything that I can store in there is not going to have a fractional component. I know that. And so when I'm working with the data, I don't have to wonder about that. Um, we'll see more examples of this as, as we go along. But again, trade-off between two different approaches. Languages that don't force you to be very specific about types are more flexible, but that flexibility can lead to problems because we don't know always exactly what we're dealing with. Languages that force you to be more strict about types, like Java, um, can be a little bit more difficult to get used to when you're getting started, but that structure tends to pay off down the road.